Welcome back. Joining us now is NMU guard Mark Renelik. Mark, yeah. thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, big game versus Duluth this weekend. You guys were trailing by as many as 13 points. What does it say about the character of the team, the way you guys bounce back? It says a lot, especially that early in the season. And we, we were not used to playing tough games like that. We played Michigan State, but it was an exhibition game, and it was a blowout, basically. So we haven't played a close game like that. And the day before, we had one by, like, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. if you, North, you know, Northland Baptist kind of prepared us, all the, like, in the first half. We kind of were ready for a close game a little bit, but it wasn't quite as talented as Duluth. So we, I think we did a good job overall picking it up in the second half. We could have easily quit. So. Mm -hmm. You had uh, six threes versus Duluth and four threes versus Northland Baptist. Yeah. Um, besides your three-point shooting, what would you say is your greatest strength as a player? Probably attacking the basket and my confidence. Like I feel like I, even if I'm missing shots, I could still do something on the court. I could, I could always contribute. I could always, I could pass. I could, I could do different things to help my team. So I, I felt like even yesterday in the first half, I was off in the first half. I, I kept going because I knew like something good was going to happen out of it. So, and he did good in the second half. So. Well, what would you say your greatest strength is as a team this season? A versatility and a, a depth. A depth. We, we we got a big team. Obviously, I, you probably heard about the CJ players from Canada that yeah. came back. So all of them came back. So now we 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 deep. We probably 13, 14 deep. So it's really our depth this year. Now the team was picked to finish last in the GLIAC North this season. Do you guys feel like you're playing with your chip, a chip on your shoulder and you have something to prove? Yes and no, because it really don't matter. Like. The, the rankings and everything don't don't matter till until the end of the season, cause we they probably don't even know after the guys we got this year, and and I think we got a pretty good team, and we shouldn't worry about whatever. I don't even I didn't even know it was Gleak. I just knew it was just the Northern Michigan. We were in it, so it's just it don't matter to us. We're just trying to control what we could control, which mm -hmm. is our team. Okay. Um, coming from Chicago State in Division One, what experiences there have helped you make the transition to being a starter for NMU? Uh, probably, mm, I'll say probably like playing so many teams away, so many big teams, and playing playing in front of big crowds all the time at, at Chicago State because we had a lot of away game. We were independent. We went away a lot, so like. Playing in adversity and everything, I, I feel like I could bring a lot of confidence to the team and a lot of, yeah, basically confidence to the team because I, I feel like I play, I play against the best of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what made you decide you wanted to come and play at NMU? The right, it was the right situation. When me and Coach Ellis, we talked, like it, it, was, it was the best situation for me to transfer to and I knew a lot of guys from Montreal, Canada that came here before, Ricky and a whole bunch of other guys, Marco, his brothers. So I, I felt like it was the right situation for me. And Coach Ellis has been recruiting me for a while, so it was a, it was a perfect situation. Uh, you played an exhibition game versus Michigan State a couple weeks yeah. back. What was yeah. that experience like for you guys? It was, it was kind of surreal a little bit because... You come from playing in front of 200 people, in front of 15,000, and, and goes to 15,000. So it was, it was kind of surreal. But after a while, you kind of get used to it. You get used to it because you don't pay attention to the crowd. But at first, it was kind of like, I guess you could say culture shock in some mm -hmm. type of way. So it was, it was pretty good. Growing up, were there any players that you looked up to or modeled your game after? The. Pff, mm. I say NBA, well, NBA, everybody had Michael Jordan. Yeah. But I, as far as, like, growing up, I had a lot of role models back home with some of my friends that play overseas now. Those were mo more of my role models. I had my good friend, Enzo Oriento, that played for Wisconsin Badgers for, like, in 95. So that was guys I was looking up to when I was growing up. But that's NBA's Michael Jordan. So uh, coming up this weekend, the team has two more home games versus Alma and Finlandia. 
Yeah. Uh, what do you think will be the key to having another successful set of games to close out this homestand? Practice the way we practice all this week, and uh, don't get, don't let those two wins get over our head and like, kind of like, keep keep staying those wins. It's over. Uh, it, we enjoy we enjoyed it, but we got to move on and think about the next game and take one game at a time. Don't don't try to look like we're gonna go undefeated right away. We got to make it step by step. We two and zero. We did a good job, so now we got to keep going. Keep doing the right thing to, to get prepared for Alma and whoever we're playing, we're playing the four games. So. Yeah. All right, thanks for coming on today, Mark. Okay, thanks a lot. That's all the time we have for today. Tune in again next time.